What's going on, friends? Rich Discoveries coming at you from the basement with a quick video. I want to share something with you. Let me, uh, let me turn this down first. We're watching Dash on the big screen. Um, I found something on the side of the road that I thought was really neat, and I want to share it with you guys, and I want to take you through the process of cleaning it up. Now, I don't know if it's going to be the best way to clean it. Hopefully, if somebody in the comments has a better way, or somebody in the audience has a better way to clean glass, you can you know help me out a little bit. But I'll do the way I know for now, and anyways, let's get right into it. I found this on the side of the road, just sitting there. This is an old uh, isolator. I mean, they call them telegraph isolators, but it could have been telegraph, could have been telephone, could have been electricity. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways, look at this thing. It says Brookfield on it. It was made by the Brookfield Glass Company, I guess. I looked it up. There was one in New York from 1864-ish to like 1912, and there was one in Jersey from, I think, 1906 to 1912. 1912, 1910, 1912, but regardless, no, the Jersey one was like 1926, I think, I don't know, you got me thinking, anyways, it couldn't have been made after 1926, because the company went out of business by about 1926, but from what I understand, the ones that said Brookfield on them were made in Brooklyn, and the ones that had like the name of the, the town or something on it was were the Jersey ones, but I get all types of mixed information trying to look it up, but either way, I found this. We're going to clean this thing up. Look at that, huh? That is why I was all dirt inside it. First, we're going to rinse it, and then uh, I'm just going to put it in a bag of alcohol and salt and let it soak for a little bit and scrub it with a toothbrush. And It's got a big chip on it right there, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see it too well from what it fell or dropped or whatever happened, but I can't believe I saw this thing just sitting there on the side of the road. So this came home with me. This is really cool. This is heavy, too. You just you don't see a lot of these. So we're going to get right into, we're going to rinse it off first, and then I'll probably just let it soak in a mixture of, like I said, salt and alcohol, and well, let it sit for at least an hour or so, and we'll go from there. So let's get into cleaning this thing. I shouldn't keep it so close to my good toothbrush, you know that? <laughs> let's just get the loose stuff out of it first. This is great. Wow. Getting clean already. I ain't even put any chemicals in it or uh, alcohol in it yet. Again, if anybody in the, in the audience, anybody watching this knows a better way to clean glass, I have got a ton of old bottles I found over the years. You know, just digging for bottles and whatnot that I've I cleaned up and would love to clean them better. If anybody knows a better process, please let me know. Okay, that's coming off. I thought that was paint. That's good. It's coming right off. Awesome. This thing looks better already. Except for that chip. Darn. Oh yeah. Alright, let's take a look. Look at that. That's just with the soap and water. You can hold it upside down so I don't drop it. Oh, that would be tragic. Hopefully you could see it. Wow. It came out alright. We're, we're still going to soak it though. Look at that color, huh? The lettering. There's some bubbles in there. There is some cracks, but there's a lot of imperfections. You know, like that, those lines when it was made. Wow, this thing is beautiful. I can't believe I found this thing on the side of the road. I know this isn't the best way to show it to you, so I apologize for that, but you get the point. Wow. All right, I'm going to get this thing soaking in some alcohol. And Shout out Steel Drum Smokers, SDS BBQ. Tell them Risk Discovery sent you. Great channel. All right, back to work. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to attempt. I don't have a whole lot of rubbing alcohol. So I'm just going to pour in what I got. Hopefully this bag will hold it. I know plastic bags like this hold regular alcohol from my younger days. Don't ask how I know, but I know. <laughs> Put a little bit of alcohol in there. Break out the table salt. Open it up. Put a little bit of table salt in there. Might even be too much. Eh. A little more. Looks like the bottom of the box is leaking. A little more alcohol. Let's see how that looks. I use the salt because it gets in there. And it really, uh, the grains of salt really, when you shake it and mix it, really scrape the, uh, the stuff off. I've got it in a Tupperware just in case this bag doesn't hold up. But it should. I don't know, I'm thinking. And then just, you know, I don't know, shake it around. I'm going to let it soak for a while. 
I want to move it around. I really want to get that salt to scrape stuff. And just do this for a bit. Do it all over the, the Tupperware, just in case. If the thing were to open or something, you know. Really don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to let this sit for a little bit. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys in, I don't know, like an hour or two. Alright, so we are quickly learning. This bag apparently is not acceptable to rubbing alcohol. Or acceptable of rubbing alcohol. However you want to say it, it's starting to come out. So we're just going to put it right in the Tupperware. It's an old Tupperware. Whenever the wife uh, buys new Tupperware, because these only last so long, much as we like to keep them forever, they only last so long. So whenever the wife buys new ones, I, uh, I like to keep a couple of the old ones just for projects like this. Oh, I got a cut. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need the rest of this alcohol, I think. <laughs> Start drinking it in a minute if it hurts anymore. <laughs> I'm just joking. I wouldn't do that. I got beer right here. All right. Yeah, get all that salt in there. And we're just going to use this to uh, slosh it around. I got the toothbrush. Let me get rid of this bag real quick. All right. Let's give this thing a little bit more of a bath since we're right here. Get some of that salt inside. I really want to get in there and... Scrub this thing good with the alcohol, the salt. I still didn't go for the ride yet. I'm just trying to scrub it even more. Really want to clean this thing up good. So let's get into there with this. A little bit of alcohol and salt mixture in there. And just really scrub it. Go through the teeth, or the uh, threads rather. Yeah, it's cleaning the inside nicely. I don't know how well you can see it, but... All right, rotate it. I'm going to do the same with the outside. All right, here is, sorry, here is the finished product. I hope it looks as good as it does to me. Look at that. Here's the finished product, book field. Try not to drop it. I think it's heavy in New York. As you can see, it's got some imperfections in it, like any old glass has. This is absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how good this thing came out. Look at this. I used uh, a Q-tip. I went down in the ridges here with a Q-tip. I went down in the threads with a Q-tip. Look at that. Wow. Check that out. I put it on a light. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at that. Wow. If you guys like old glass, check out uh, I guess Discovery Planet. He's a traveling bottle digger. He finds old glass. I found him through Sidestep Adventures, and he's got some amazing stuff. But look at that. We should look at this with the lights off. Yeah, it's not too good here. Try with the lights off. Hold on. That looks cool. I have to rig something up with it like that. Sorry about all the junk on the table. <laughs> look at that, huh? Focus? Yeah, ish. We'll have to rig something up with it. But yeah, if you like old glass, check him out. I just think that looks really cool. We're going to have to rig something up with it, I think. Look at the whole room is green because of the glass. That is so cool. We good? Oh, we're shaking. My stick's getting low, so my gimbal's getting low. Anyways, this is it. I don't know how much I'm going to use of what I just made. I don't know. It's pretty neat. We had some fun with it, lighting it up and stuff. But this is it. Look at this thing. Um, Really cool find, especially for the side of the road. I like it. It's very heavy. This thing weighs a few pounds for a little piece of glass, but like I said, they're not worth much, but they're just, they're rare. They're really cool, and, and they're unique, so we're going to do something with it. I don't know what yet. Um, it's going to go on a shelf, obviously, but it, I'd like to light it up somehow. I might find a way to wire something into it. I don't know. I'd like to light it up, but either way, really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to edit this together and try not to make it too long, because I I think I got about 45 minutes of video on this thing, so I'm going to cut it up and hopefully it's make it into a 5-10 minute video. Probably 10 minute video because I did a lot of stuff with it, but yeah, look at that, huh? You can't go wrong for a roadside find. Really cool. I'll put this together tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Get out there and discover your world. You never know when you'll find an old telegraph or telephone isolator on the side of the road just <laughs> walking down the road. Really cool. Somebody had to drop this because these aren't on poles anymore.
even around here where stuff is old, these aren't on poles anymore. So, yeah, beautiful find. Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great night.